Welcome to Reading with Red. Look at that solar flare. The sun is shining today. We are reading chapter six, Boss Battle. Welcome to Reading with Red. If the sun goes down, or if red does, I will change the camera. But right now he is alert. He is people watching. He is dog watching. And so far nothing has come. But he's patient. And you should be too, while we read a lot. I just said you were patient. Welcome to reading with Mr. Peterson with a red shirt on. That's where I got the word red from. No, you can't come back. You're done. Boss Battle, Chapter 6. With me and Eric and their talons, the bats flew toward the tiny island. As we got closer, the speck of land came into focus. Just a beach the size of a small backyard with a small palm, single palm tree in the middle. When we reached the island, the bats dive-bombed, then whomp, dumped us into, onto the beach and soared off. I brushed the sand out of my clothes. Was that supposed to happen? Of course. I walked with, toward Eric. We have to talk. I put my finger in his chest. You can't keep surprising me with... My voice trailed off because as I talked, a shadow fell over Eric. I slowly turned to see what it could be this time. A sand monster. Of course. Why not? Behind me, a monster made the sand, made of sand rose from the ground. It kept growing and growing, first the size of a one-story home, then two stories, then as tall as one of those old houses with a big attic on the top. Its face formed into angry eyes and massive fangs. I jabbed my thumb toward the furious monster behind me. Want to tell me what this is? The boss. I don't know what that means. This is a video game. Every few levels end with a big boss battle. You're speaking gibberish. Well, look who decides to show up now that there's a boss battle. Yeah. I knew you'd get roped in. You couldn't stay away, could you? It's too good. Eric rolled his eyes. If you blast him enough times in a glowing spot on his back or on his belly, he'll disappear and the portals will pop up. Fine, I'll be happy to go home where people aren't constantly tricking me and pushing me off waterfalls. Fine, fine! I marched in front of the sand monster and it roared like a dinosaur. Oh. Ooh, I'm real scared, I said, as I blasted it in the mouth. What are you going to do, eat me? I charged up the full blast and shot it in the belly. It fell over shrieking, then grew bigger and angrier. Go ahead, eat me. It won't even hurt. I'll just come right back here, and we'll do the whole thing again, because this is a video game, and video games are stupid. Oh, shut up, Eric yelled from across the level. What was that? Just save it. You know you're having fun. Oh, really? You know what would be fun? I dodged a spiky sand ball that the monster threw at me. It's sand, you might be saying. Sand is soft. How could a sand ball be spiky? I know, right? Video games are so dumb. What would be fun is having a real friend who explains things and lets me choose for myself. Eric blasted the monster in the back. And it fell over again. What? So I'm not a real friend now. The monster grew so big that I couldn't see Eric anymore, so I just started yelling at the monster's belly, hoping Eric could hear me on the other side. I don't know, real friends trust real friends trust each other. I could hear Eric charging up his blaster. I charged mine too. Real friends know each other, Eric said, and this friend knows that you never want to have fun or make decisions for yourself. So sometimes he has to push you to push you a little bit. Well maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. I blasted the monster's belly. Unbeknownst to me, Eric blasted its back at the same time. In slow motion, the monster looked at me, then turned around to look at Eric. Then a funny thing happened. Its head started twitching unnaturally. As the monster's head snapped from me to Eric and back again, it started to roar. 
or at least it started trying to roar. Roar, 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 roar. It sounded, yeah, I know. Isn't that weird? Oh, you're sweet. It sounded like a lawnmower trying to start. Roar, 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 roar. Suddenly, the sand monster and island disappeared. Everything faded away, and we were left in a bright blue room. On the wall, words started to appear as if they were being typed. Error 2302, activate Hindenburg Protocol, yes or no. Okay, I said to Eric, what's the Hindenburg Protocol? His face was kind of white. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I mean, it's never done this anything like this before. So should we pick no? Yeah, probably. I walked to the wall and touched no. The message just disappeared. Eric and I looked at each other and waited for something to happen. Then the message started typing out again. Error 2302. Activate Hindenburg Protocol, yes or no? I guess we don't have a choice, Eric said. He touched yes, and the room faded away. The island and ocean came back, but no more monster. That was weird, I said. Yeah, super weird. Three portals started pushing through the ground in front of us. Why don't we both get out of here, Eric said. We walked toward the middle portal, the home one, but stopped short once it began revealing itself. Something was wrong. The two other portals glowed bright blue and purple like before, but not the middle one. The middle one was dull gray, and it was locked. And that's the end of chapter five. This special edition of Solar Flare Reading with Red is over. Whoa, another one right here. Okay. Next chapter is chapter seven. So stay tuned. Will the flare still be here? I don't know. You've got to go check it out. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.